Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Alex and welcome to the Puckle Life channel. Uh, before we start this video about Afghani Kuznetsov, uh, make sure you please hit that subscribe button. Just just hit it. You know, just subscribe. If you don't want to subscribe, that's okay. But subscribing would be awesome. And then if you do subscribe, you would, you know, come back to my channel and then you'd look at the subscribe button and it'd be filled and it'd be say you are subscribed. And it's amazing, right? You know, and then you get little notifications and then it's like, oh, you've been subscribed for this many days. And it's amazing, right? And I'm just repeating the word subscribe as many times as I can so that you know to subscribe. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> that was actually a pretty good intro, just saying. Anyways, uh, today we're talking about Evgeny Kuznetsov and his situation where he was seen in a 22 second video with supposedly cocaine, uh, which is a really big deal. Uh, and especially as a Capitals fan, full disclosure, I'm a Capitals fan, uh, it's, it's really hard to just sit here and pretend that this isn't a big deal, but it is. Uh, it's a huge deal. And we really, as all Caps fans, we were very pretty, t you know, close group of fans. I have a couple of uh, groups and uh, discords that I follow and we talk a lot. Uh, I just, uh, it's really, really, really hope. We all hope that it isn't true or that he does use it. Um, and he released a statement saying that he never did drugs, he never will, he's ready to do a uh, drug test if necessary. Now we have to remember that Evgeny Kuznetsov has a family. He has a wife and he has a daughter and it just doesn't make any sense as a, as a father, as, as a, a husband, to just ruin your life like that. You have a Stanley Cup under your belt, you're a great talented player, you have you have great teammates, a great team, and just to ruin it all over one drug, it just doesn't make any sense. He said that this video came out in 2018 after they won the Stanley Cup in Vegas. Uh, he went to a friend's room and in the friend's room, he saw that there was a unknown uh, lady on the on the bed and also a drug on the table or some, some sort of substance or unknown substance on the table. And we all know that it's obviously cocaine. But the point is he knew that he should get out of there. He said that he called a friend and left. So how does this work? So uh, the, the NHL has seen it and the Capitals have seen it. Uh, what's going to happen? What is the protocol for this? Because if a guy like Slava Voinov gets suspended for abusing his wife for 82 games and then gets it reduced to 41, how does it work? How much is a drug that is self-inflicting do with the NHL? How much is that worth? Uh, let's say he does use it or did use it. Um, I think that genuinely, if you really want to compare it to a, an abusive person, to a person who just used a drug that is, well, yes, illegal, and also self-inflicting to himself, I think that if you're doing damage to yourself, I think that it should be less by like maybe 15 games. It shouldn't be a lot less, it should just be a few less than a guy who abused his wife, who inflicted harm to another human being. That's just my thought. Um, but. Let me know what you think. How much should he get if he is technically proven that he did? But it seems like he has nothing to hide. He said he's ready to completely cooperate with the NHL. He's ready to, to do anything uh, that the NHL needs. And uh, he's he's not afraid to hide anything. Uh, you know, he's, he's out there in the open. He's ready to go. It's actually interesting how this video comes up a year later. Uh, the, apparently, the caption of the video was, This is why Team Russia lost. Uh, they didn't make it to the gold, but they made it to bronze and they won. But... Uh, they, this apparently this person wasn't happy with that. He said that uh, this is why you know Russia lost, and then they post the video. And it's really interesting how the video is posted a year later after what happened. And it's it seems like there's there's no reason to the video besides to harm Kuznetsov. Uh, it doesn't make any sense why someone would upload the video. Uh, it's just uh, it's weird. It's a very weird um, situation. But it's important that we remember that this man has a family. I don't know why, I hope that helps with anything because if you're, if you're, you know, if you are in a family right now, your husband or, or a wife uh, right now and you're watching this video because, uh, you know, I've, I've looked at my demographic, quite a few guys are a lot older than me. Uh, if you are in a family and you are part of a family, uh, why would you risk something like this? It just doesn't make any sense. It, it, I mean, I know people make mistakes, but Kuznetsov is, is smarter than that, I think. Uh, let's say that he is proven completely innocent and that there the people that were in the video the guy who recorded it and the people around him uh, and the friend that he called and, and said I'm leaving whatever let's say they come out and they say no nope, he wasn't you know he was there but he didn't touch it and he left moments after he just came to visit and he had nothing to do with it does it still warrant the NHL to say that's suspendable is it a 20 game suspension is it something to really look into still is it still Something the NHL needs to put their hammer down, or even the Capitals need to put their 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 hammer down, 
is it something to still be aware of? Because it's interesting. I think, yes, they, they should still look into it because he was around it. But it seemed like, you know, we can't tell how long he was there. We will never know unless the people who were in the room say, oh, no, he came in, he sat down, he showed us our phone, and uh, he realized what was happening and he left, you know, and, and that's it. And we're not saying that this pow powdered substance was, it's not like, oh, we were recreating a movie scene and that's why that was there. No, it's clear what was happening. It's just about whether Kuznetsov was aware of the situation, stayed long after he knew what was going on, and did he use it? Because I think we're eliminating slowly that Kuznetsov didn't use it. We're, we're slowly, slowly eliminating that scenario. Uh, but you never know. So. What do you guys think in the comments down below? Oh yeah, I forgot to say, um, I didn't put the video in this, you know, video. I didn't put the official video that has been leaked around the the, 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 the Twitter verse, I guess, and stuff like that. I didn't put it in this video because I think that YouTube might say this is a little not friendly, a little not friendly. Does that make sense? It, it's not friendly, user friendly. So I don't want to lose you guys from missing this video and lose as potential newer viewers. Uh, I'm trying to grow a channel here. I know it's it's difficult and I love to upload the video with it, but this time I have to say no, uh, just for the sake of my channel. Uh, but, <clears throat> voice crack. Uh, anyways, if you do think he used it, let me know in the comments below. If you didn't think he used it, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know if you're a Capitals fan. What do you think of this? Because I'm a Capitals fan and I, I genuinely think that if he was apparently there longer than he said he was and he was he knew what was going on he still hung out i don't really want a player like that on my team i, I genuinely feel like uh you know if it was like weed it would be fine because weed is like legal in a lot of places and it's a lot less you know like i know the effects of it is it's it, it also could be used for medical reasons so it's a little less of an issue but point is uh I feel like if he did stay there a lot longer, like an hour, while, and he knew what was going on, I, I don't want to play like that on my team. And it's hard to say because Kuznetsov is a great centerman to have. But if that's what it takes, I, I don't want a guy like that on my team. And that's from a capitalist perspective. Man, that sucks to say so much. And if it is caught that he that he did use it, yes, definitely get rid of him. There's no question about it. Uh, but it's all just comes down to what the NHL and the capitalists are going to do. It's We'll see. We'll have to see. Anyways, guys, that's watched the video. If you did enjoy, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. Because, uh, like I said, having you guys back would be amazing. Start a new conversation in every video. So, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.